Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss how you can use dplyr package for data manipulation. The dplyr package provides a general framework for manipulating of data frames in R. The package provides these following functions. I am going to discuss filter in detail in this video and I will cover the other functions in my separate video. Please note that all the dplyr functions works in a similar way. The first argument would be a data frame that is your data and the second argument would be what to do to that data frame and in all the cases always a data frame will be returned. So now we will discuss quickly how to work with the filter function. So before that make sure the dplyr package is installed in your system. If not, I would recommend you to refer to my separate video where I have covered how to install a package. If it is already installed, we will call it using the library function. See now it is already there in my environment. So for uh, the filter function, I will use the iris dataset. As you might already know that the R itself has certain data sets inbuilt. So in, within that one of the data set is iris. Uh, so using head function I will show you how iris data set look like. It, it looks like this. It has the details of certain species. Uh, say for length, width, petal length, width. So the, what the head function will do is it will populate the few first rows uh, of the data set. So quickly we will show how filter function will work. So uh, I will first mention filter in the iris data set. Say I want to see the data having staple length greater than 5.5 and enter. So this filter will give me uh, all the data having the staple length greater than 5.5. If you can see the first column, everything is greater than 5.5. There are somewhere around 91 uh, cases. Similarly, you can increase the conditions over here. Uh, say I want to see again, sample dot length greater than 5.5 and petal length greater than 6.0. So in this case, both the conditions will meet and the cases will be populated accordingly. So everything will have greater than 5.5, the sample length will be greater than 5.5 and the petal length will be greater than 6.0 over here. Uh, so please note that the filter function won't return the column which does not have a data frame, which does not have a uh, column name. Say in empty cars, I'll show how empty cars look like again. In empty cars, if I want to filter anything, the name of the cars won't be populated because it does not have a column name. So in some cases, this might give you error also. So do take care when uh, while you are handling with the you know large data files. Uh, so never mind. In in this case, if I so if I do filter on empty cars, say MPG greater than 30 or carb equal equal to 2 I'm sorry this is supposed to be comma over here the spelling of empty card is wrong so in this case either this or this condition so the number of rows will be populated accordingly but if you notice the first column without the header name will not be populated. So make sure you take care of this while programming. Uh, similarly, okay, so there is one more example. Suppose I want to see the card for multiple conditions. If I want to see for 3, 6, 8, in that case you make a vector out of it. And there is an in condition over here that we are going to use which is percentage in percentage. So what this case will do, uh, it will populate uh, 
from the empty cars uh, data set the uh, the rows having a uh, card equal to 3 6 or 9 all so there is 3 and 6 and there is no 9 in this data set so yeah that's how you use a filter function please refer to my other videos for all the other packages of dplyr thank you